Okay, today we're going to be looking at understanding equality. Over here, I have uh, a balanced equation on each side. So you'll notice 36 divide 6, 15 minus 9. Both expressions will come up with an answer, and we got the nice little balance beam, the little teeter totter. If we take a look at this, 36 divide 6 equals 6, and 15 minus 9 equals 6. So that means 36 divide 6 is equal to 15 minus 9. Balanced. Over here, same thing. We have 12 plus 5 equals 17, and 5 plus 12 equals 17. So. 12 plus 5 equals 5 plus 12. Sticking with me so far? Seems complicated, doesn't it? This one here, 3 times 7 equals 21, and 7 times 3 equals 21 as well. So, 3 times 7 equals 7 times 3. Now, you're probably wondering what this all means. Well, when we start to do higher algebra, it's going to become very important because we're going to need to balance both sides of equations. So it's good for you to understand that both sides of the equations have to equal. Okay? What you may have noticed is if you look at the adding, the 12 plus 5 and the 5 plus 12, it didn't matter which order we went, they still got the same answer. And the multiplication, same thing. 3 times 7 is 21, 7 times 3 is 21. It doesn't matter which order we do. That means that adding and that adding and mul multiplication are um, can can go can be done either direction. Doesn't matter. You can flip flop. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get. And it all comes down to, uh, it's called commutative, commutative property. Okay. Now, we have commutative property of addition, which is 3 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3, or 114 plus 35 equals 35 plus 114. We can use variables to show this property for any pair of numbers we can add. So, a plus b equals b plus a. Looks kind of like algebra, doesn't it? If you're not sure, trust me, it is. Now, we can also make it commutative, as we discussed, for multiplication. So we got commutative property of multiplication. Okay, which is, for example, 3 times 2 equals 2 times 3, or 55 times 8 equals 8 times 55. And once again, we can use variables to represent this. A times B equals B times A. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your first step into algebra and getting a little more complicated baby steps folks and it'll work itself out once again if you have any questions or comments or concerns you know who to see